If you're looking for the best Dallas suburbs to move to, then you've probably heard of Argyle, Texas. And today we're talking about the eight reasons that Argyle may not be the best place to live. Hi, we're Brett and Molly Chance with Texas Home Life Realty. And on this channel, we talk about what it's like to eat, sleep, live, and play. Everything you need to know about living in the best suburbs of Dallas. So if this is the information you're looking for, make sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that way you're notified every single time we put out a new video. So let's jump into the eight reasons that Argyle, Texas may not be the best place to live. And stay tuned to the end because number eight is probably the biggest reason. So first off, let's talk about cost of living. Because the cost of living in Argyle, I mean, as you know, it's roughly 38% higher than the average in Texas based on uh, information that we gleaned from bestplaces.net. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll tell you how they come up with this. So the total, total of all the cost of living categories is weighted as far as housing, food, groceries, transportation, utilities, healthcare, and other miscellaneous expenses like clothing, services, entertainment, all that. It does not include state and local taxes in any category. So keep in mind, this is based on Texas. Like it is a little more expensive to live here as far as other places in Texas. Now, if you're comparing it to California or New York or some of these other locations that people that are moving in from, it's probably going to be a lot less expensive to live here than those places. Yeah, most definitely. Right. Number two, as far as the real estate market, the real estate market in Argyle is 156% higher than the Texas average. The median price for Argyle is $471,000 compared to the national average is around $271,000. And there's a lot of different factors for that because when you look at the median price for RL, that's including all the farm and ranch properties, which is definitely gonna skew the numbers right. compared to your regular you know, single family homes in a subdivision. So that's really just you know messing with those numbers for sure. Right, because Argyle is known for their horse properties, and so they've got some large tracts of land, large ranches, and all that can go up to gosh around five million. So when you're you know pulling that in, that's kind of that kind of skews that just a little bit. Most definitely. So again, this is all based on the the Texas average. So. You know, if you're coming in from California, New York, again, housing prices in Argyle are probably a lot less than what you were paying in those states, right? Yeah, most I mean, definitely. And you know, if your housing budget is, you know, not quite there, if it's like under four hundred thousand, Argyle is probably not going to be the place that you're looking to move to. So the third reason why Argyle may not be the best place to live is the lack of entertainment and nightlife. And that's just because of the fact it's still a rural area that right. is quickly growing. So, you know, you just don't have a lot of entertainment. Yes, there's some great restaurants and things like that around the area. But as far as the nightlife, it's just not there for sure. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not like, you know, downtown Dallas or Fort Worth or someplace no. like that. And so, and also, you know, there's not a, a main square, town square, or a main street area where people gather on the weekends and things like that. You don't really have that there. I mean, it, it, it's rural. I mean, if you're looking for city life and those, you know, everything that comes with city life, probably not a good place for you. Okay, another reason is lack of shopping. Uh, you know, Argyle, again, rural town, so you don't have, there's not a grocery store there yet. Uh, as far as clothing, things like that, you're gonna have to drive just a little bit. Now, there are some places that are close by within, say, 15 minutes. Um, you've got, you know, Denton, you've got the Tanger Outlets that are over in the Alliance Corridor on the south side going towards Fort Worth. Um, you've got Flower Mound, that's a 15 minute drive. You've got Roanoke, everything's about within a 15 minute drive or so closest. And then of course, you know, you can always drive to the cities of, you know, Fort Worth, Dallas, other places where there is, there is more shopping around. It's just, it's just going to be a drive. 
Now, to say this, I mean, Argyle is definitely not out in the middle of nowhere. Because like we've talked about, Argyle is definitely a fast-growing community oh, yeah. uh, for sure. So within, they've got plans within the next couple year to two years. There is a grocery store coming in. Uh, we don't know which one just yet, along with more shops coming in. It's going, primarily right now, they're playing right there at 35 and uh, FM 407, right there at that intersection. Yeah, and they're they're proposing that right now for around I think it's the fall of 2023. Mm -hmm. So if all goes well, hopefully that will be there, and that will definitely add. So think shopping is coming at some point. So number five, it's the distance or the location of where Argyle is. And when we're talking about distance, as far as driving distance to you know DFW Airport, because you're looking at about a 30 minute commute to get to there, depending on traffic, mm -hmm. um, and then you know going to downtown Fort Worth, you're probably right at about an hour again, <laughs> depending on traffic. Because traffic is a big thing because we've got yeah. areas just growing so quickly, and uh, the infrastructure is just having a hard time keeping up. Then if you want to go to downtown Dallas, you, again, you're probably looking at about an hour, depending on traffic as, as well. Yeah, Fort Worth is just a tad bit closer, actually. Yeah. It's probably more like a 45-minute drive. Again, based on traffic, right. time of day. Now, another reason may be because of the small roads. Now, as far as right now, the Argyle, it's just you know single-lane road as far as uh, Highway 377, which runs north-south. And then the other main road is Farmer Market 407 that runs east and west, and that's a single lane road. Now, right. so if you're in a hurry, depending what time of day, you're not going to be in a hurry uh, because, you know, the, the roads are just full right now. now. Yeah. Yeah. So the main intersection there is 407 and 377, small roads. I mean, you're still close to Interstate 35, but to get in and out of Argyle, you're going to have to travel on just a single lane road. Yeah. Plus, then you got the railroad tracks right there as well. Oh, true. Yes. So the train comes through there. It it runs alongside in, uh, 377. So when the train comes through, you're going to have some backup in that as well. Yeah, most definitely. Now, to say all this, um, the city of Argyle and uh, Texas Department of Highways, Hillwood Development Group, City of Northlake, are all being very proactive of pushing up the timelines of getting the road construction to widen everything out. Um, there are plans right now uh, to start very soon, right at 1171 and 377, which is on the south end of Argyle, um, to widen that intersection um, along to go ahead and do a temporary fix at 407 and 35W because of the congestion there, uh, because there's just so much being built right in that area that this right. needing help far as relief. Right. Um, along with that, they're gonna be you know widening 377 as well. So help is on the way. It's just, you know there's gonna be those inconveniences during that time of all the construction. Well, and there's so many houses being built, so many large developments in the area. You've got, <sighs> Just tons of yeah. people moving in, and so it is a little congested right now. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of, it feels like it's just Texas is the way they do it. Like, okay, let's go ahead and build it, and then we'll worry about the infrastructure. <laughs> uh, I don't know why they do it, but they do it. So, yeah. Right. Another reason you may not want to live in Argyle is the whole small town Everybody knows your name. Everybody knows your business. If that's not what you're about, if you really kind of want to stay, uh, you know, a little more anonymous, big city's probably better for you. Argyle is just a small town. It's rural. It's just, you know, everybody knows everybody. So um, if that's kind of not your thing, then Argyle may not be the best place for you. Now, number eight, and probably the biggest reasons that you may not want to move to Argyle is the growth. Yes, it's real right now, but the growth is on the way. Actually, it's probably, it's already here. It's, it's here. It's Most here. Definitely. So, yeah, they've projected that Argyle grew by about 23% in just one year. The The school system is busting at the seams. Right now, they're, they're projecting that the enrollment for students is going to double in the next 10 years. Now, they're, they're, act, they're proactive about this, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, they just put, they built the, put a new high school over in Canyon Falls. They're adding a third elementary school that will be in Canyon Falls as well. And I believe it's August of 2022. They have made their elementary schools now like pre-K through fourth, so they could you know, add an, an intermediate school for, just for fifth graders. So it's 
it's there's a lot of growth so yeah. if you are looking for a rural area and you want it to stay a little rural which is almost impossible in the north texas area right now there's so many people moving in but if that's what you're looking for for an extended period of time probably not going to be the place for you right and you know and they're just going through the normal growing pains of a small rural community of you know, trying to figure out all the infrastructure and, you know, how they want it to grow and develop. And by bringing in the large developers, um, they're doing it right. So uh, it's just one of those things of there's yeah. just going to be the, those pains to go through. And also, right. you know, talking about as far as the schools that are growing, you know, the other issue is, you know, they're having to go through redistricting of the schools every so often, working to accommodate all the students that they're, right. they're dealing with. Well, so. you've got builders um, that are still building large, mm -hmm. large developments and then more to come. So you've got so many people moving into these new developments, you know, new students coming in. It's just, it's, it's pretty massive. Yeah, most definitely. Because, I mean, all in that three, or the 377 corridor along 35W corridor, mm -hmm. it's just been farmland. And so, you know, they've got full range to, to grow right. and to develop. Lots of space there to grow. Most sure. definitely. So today we were talking about the eight reasons you may not want to move to Argyle, Texas, which is considered one of the best Dallas suburbs. Mm -hmm. But if this place is not right for you, we got you covered. We're here to help you find the ideal location in the Dallas area that you that may be better suited for you. The only way we can do that is if you reach out, however you want to do that, call us, email us, or you can fill out our VIP buyer information sheet below and we'll be glad to help you. So make sure you check out our next video, the pros and cons of Argyle, Texas.